Why do creationists like Ken Ham go to such lengths to try to prove that their worldview is correct? Why do they try to disprove so many of the findings of modern science? They claim to believe in a supernatural god who is capable of doing anything he wants to. So why don't they consider the idea that their god magically poofed the universe into existence 6,000 years ago but did it in such a way that all of the tests which a technologically advanced species might one day be able to carry out would all point to the conclusion that all species are related through common ancestors, including humans, that the Earth is 4.5 billion years old, and that the universe is 13.8 billion years old. Surely a magical creator god could do that. What's to prevent him from creating a new universe which seems like it's already billions of years old. Some creationists have already suggested that dinosaur bones were planted in order to test our faith. This makes sense if we assume that the Bible is the absolute truth when interpreted literally. For those who make that assumption, the findings of modern science need to be filtered through a biblical lens. The thing which puzzles me is that all too often Rather than acknowledging the reality of the world we find ourselves in, the creationists deny what is right in front of their eyes and claim that the science is wrong. I don't think they need to do that. They could have stronger faith in the supernatural capabilities of their creator. After all, their Jesus encourages his followers to believe in his divinity without question and promises a blissful afterlife if they can do that. Doubt is positively discouraged, and the threat of eternal torture looms over the unbeliever. Religious people describe themselves as believers, not knowers, even though many do claim to know that there is one true God, despite being unable to demonstrate how they know that. The difference between knowledge and belief is an important one, and the two should never be confused. So why are the comforts, hams and hovens of this world so keen to derail curiosity-driven scientific research? Why do they spend so much time and effort trying to persuade people to believe what they call evolutionism is false, when they could just say that God works in mysterious ways and planted a whole bunch of fake evidence? Ironically, the thing they call evolutionism actually is mostly false. It's a hodgepodge of cosmology, abiogenesis, atheism and evolution, which nobody who is scientifically literate can take seriously. A straw man, in other words. So when they say that evolutionism is ridiculous and therefore false, even someone like me can agree. The trouble is that they then claim to have debunked a whole bunch of science and proved the existence of their god. I don't think so. They want everyone to believe that the world is only 6,000 years old, and that the creation story in generous is literally correct. This is absurd. It would be like me saying, this dog is only a quarter of an hour old, even though every scientific test you could carry out indicates that she's about 13 years old. But I insist that she was magically poofed into existence by the all-knowing and infinitely capable creator of the universe a mere 15 minutes ago. How do you know that, you might ask? Well, this information was revealed to me by the creator himself, and I can assure you that this dog is a very young dog, and your science is in denial of the one true creator, and is spreading lies by trying to claim that she is 13 years old. You just have to have faith in this young dog hypothesis. And so the argument goes on and on. To illustrate how much of a discrepancy there is between science and young earth creationism, the claim that the earth is 6,000 years old rather than 4.5 billion is as absurd as claiming that a 13-year-old dog has only existed for the last 15 minutes. So why is belief so important to religion? Manipulating beliefs is one way to control people. Con men understand this. You can too. Holy books go on and on about how important faith is. The character of Doubting Thomas in the New Testament is portrayed as somehow being weaker 
than a lot of the other more faithful characters. Gullibility is encouraged and unfulfillable promises are made. Skepticism and curiosity are discouraged, especially when focused on the authority and authenticity of the proposed creator. It seems like the creator is a fabricated idea, put forward by the religions and mixed in with their half-mythological, half-historical stories. Those were a few more thoughts I had about young earth creationism. As always, don't take my word for any of this. Do what the creationists don't encourage. Get a second opinion. Check my claims for yourself. If you're sceptical about evolution and cosmology, find out what the scientists themselves are claiming, and compare it with what the creationists are claiming about science. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.